and choose. Just like Jesus said. That would be the Christian. Man should not what? live by bread alone, but by every word. Easter. What? As if he ain't coming back. They live in that way. They live as if he's not coming back. But he's coming back. And he's not going to be doing no healing. He's not going to be doing no healing when he come back. He's coming back to strike judgment upon this world. Judgment. Judgment. His reward going to be in his hand. He's going to reward, reward us for things that we've done in these bodies. Oh, he's going to reward them. And for some people, that's going to be a good thing, but other people it's not going to be. Depending on what lifestyle you live when he come back. He said, let the one that's holy, let him be holy still. He that's unholy, let him be unholy still. He that's filthy, let him be filthy still. There are many people in today's time, they're on that broad road. They come to this building, they're on that broad road. They're on that broad road. It leads to destruction. You may say, what is that broad road? What is that broad road? That's where the ungodly is at. That's where the wickedness take place on that broad road. That's where they marry, allow two men to marry, two women to marry. That's on that broad road. It leads to destruction. That's what it leads to. That's where the fornicator is at. Habitual fornicator on that broad road. And Jesus Christ want to say today. He said, let it put eyes, say on your eyes so you can see. People say they ain't need a nothing. How you doing today, man? Good. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Share the gospel with you. Yeah, so what, what do you guys... You know what you we're preaching the, against. Well, what, what's your church? You guys have a church? We are the church. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this building is not a church. The, right. the congregation is the church. Yeah, totally, totally. So I just wanted to know what's your, what's your goal today? Our goal is to at least wake one person up today. Okay. It doesn't have to be in the church. It could be somebody sitting in their backyard listening. Okay. But we're called to come against this. This is wrong. You know this is wrong. If you've read your Bible, which I assume you haven't, because you would see that this is wrong. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we read, we study the Bible, you know. All which Bible? Stuff. Well, there's, there's lots of them. I okay, mean, but I which one do you read from? Do you read from them all? I read from several. Okay. Yeah. Um, so my, my, The one I prefer is the, um, let's see, it's the one I got in college, because I took a lot of religious courses in college. Okay. And it's, um, it's the, uh, what's the name of it? It's not the New Living Translation, is it? No. No, it's the, um, the Oxford Translation. So it's more Oxford, of an Bible? Yeah, uh, Oxford Bible? I don't know what translation that is. Yeah. But, so, so where in the Oxford Bible does it say that man should lay with man as he lies with a woman? Yeah, it, it, I mean, it says a lot of Father stuff. and mother and be joined with his wife and the two shall become one. Where does that leave room for man to be joined with man as, as, well, he, as he is with a woman? I mean, the, the way I see it, you know, I mean, Jesus taught, you know, to show love. Yeah, this he, is love. He, Jesus actually pushed against, you know, overly being overly legal about about the rules. Yes, like that's what the, the Pharisees, right, yeah. came yeah. down. Yeah, he was very said, hard on the Pharisees. And, and yeah, and the Pharisees, what were they doing? They were like, well, here are the rules. Here are the rules. Here are the rules. If you don't follow the rules, you know, punishment, be stoned, whatever. See, here's the thing, and here's the correlation with uh -huh. what you're talking about. Assume that you have some, you hold some position here in the church, right? Yeah, I'm the, you are in the same position of the Pharisees. You are teaching the word. You are enforcing the word. You are in error. He is the type of people. The Pharisees are the type of people that he went against. The ones that were preaching doctrines of men as the word of God. This is doctrines of men being preached as the word of God, and you know that because there's no difference between black and white people. Why would you put Black Lives Matter up there? We're all one race. There is no black and white. There's darker skin, there's lighter skin. There's more melanin, there's less melanin. It's the same. Oh yeah, I, mean, I agree. I mean, I we're agree all the same. That. We're all the same but race. It's kind of, it's kind of like, 
This yeah. is awful what you're doing to people. To what is it we're doing that's awful? What, what are we doing? How can you possibly be here in the name of Jesus and love when people are yeah. trying to what worship Jesus in their own right? This is atrocious. This is this is the oh, Jesus. Jesus this is this is the Jesus this? other than the one in the Bible. This is the problem. Uh, uh, horrific. I'm here with my children. We've gone to Catholic Church this morning and to drive by and see That's this. That's a false religion. Ma'am, false religion. You guys Ma'am, you don't know what you're talking about. Would you like to talk or you just want to scoff and walk away? Thank you. Thank you for your time. And, and see, that's the thing, like, you, you obviously have been to school, you've learned these things. What is, what is keeping you in this church? Really, it's the, you know, it's the community, it's the, the openness. So you want to be accepted by the world. Jesus said, love of the world is enmity with the Father. Mm. No, but, you know, I mean, basically, Jesus died, right? He yes. rose again, then he yeah. ascended to heaven. And then the Spirit came back out into the world, right? Yeah. And I view the church as the living spirit, right? No. And Yeah. No. Yeah. No. The church no. is the spirit. No, we are the body of Christ. Body We're of not Christ. the spirit. Not spirit. He breathed the spirit into the people. Not all of them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the breath. Only know? those who received it, yes. Yeah. yeah. And if you receive it, then you want to grow in knowledge of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean staying stagnant in a church. Yeah, disagreement. Um, I don't see... Uh, you know, I, I don't see Paul. I mean, Paul is not Jesus, right? Of course not. So, so Paul wrote about Jesus well after Jesus. Well, died. you know, Jesus right. didn't write anything in the Bible, right? Right. But right, exactly. So, so we, if you're going to say that, five different accounts, right? That's God's yeah. word. Yeah. Yes. Well, that is people's word about what God said. Because because Mark, right, was the first was the first book written after Jesus' death. Well, if you're forty go, years after he died. Yeah. If you're going to go if yeah, you're yeah. going to go down that route, then yeah, you can't trust right, anything that's written in the Bible. <laughs> No, no, no. Because you, 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 like you, like you, you either have to, you either have to, you either have to accept it all, or you have to de all deny what, it all. What, what, what in this world is all true? The Bible all says the, the Bible. By every word that we see out of the mouth of God. Yeah. So if you look at the word of though. Jesus, look at the words of Jesus. All, some of these Bibles, right? It's always in red, right? Uh huh. Um, Jesus didn't talk about any of this stuff. Yeah, any of this stuff that's dividing. Us. What did he say about 19, uh, Matthew 19? All right, let's look at Matthew 19. What's it say? Oh, you get the red words, just like I thought about Yes. Go. It's important to read things in context. You don't need them. If you're studied, you'll know when Jesus talk, when Jesus is talking and when he's not. But it helps to see the red letters. This Jesus here says, 19 and 1 said, And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these saying, he departed from Galilee and came onto the coast of deal beyond Jordan. And great multitude followed him. And he healed them. The Pharisee also came unto him, tempting him, saying, It is lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause. And he said unto, said unto me, Have you not read that which that he which made them beginning made them male and female? And, female. Yeah, okay. and said, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, mm -hmm. and shall cleave unto his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Those are the words of Jesus. That's, that's Jesus. Yeah. That's Jesus so, talking. So, so, what, what is that saying to you? What that says to me? That says to me people can get married, right? Yeah. Okay, so, right. And, I mean, okay. I, I'm, we're not saying. Well, so, so answer me this. So, in, in, in a female female marriage, who's the wife, who's the husband? Where did Jesus say that two women? He said male and female. He said I created them male and female. He didn't say only. You can't argue. For, you can't argue from the negative. <laughs> you can't argue in the negative. Man. Hey, you know what? It doesn't. It doesn't say that you can't sleep with a child as an adult. So is that wrong? Well, absolutely. Don't. Okay. Why? It's not in the Bible. Is wrong. Well, it's not in there. You can't argue from the negative. Because the, well, because the Bible. It, it doesn't tell you everything. You does know, it say? Example, does it say you can? Ten Commandments. So the it, doesn't, it doesn't talk about. So the Bible says that rape. the Bible. No, that's the, wrong. It's yeah. not the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Actually, so, it does say rape is wrong. Yeah. But no, um, okay. you can't skate around that verse. Does it, does it say slavery is wrong in the Bible? Absolutely. If you actually, if you follow the Old Testament, to if you slavery. no no, it was to it was. that was that was he knew that men were going to enslave other men, so he laid out rules in order to make sure that they didn't kill them. So the thing is, if you follow the biblical account in the Old Testament of slavery, every slave would be freed every seven years. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? That's new to me, yeah. I knew that, right? That's why you have to so, study. So you can enslave people for seven years? That's no, right. no. Just because it's recorded doesn't mean it's enforced. So, the, so that's what I'm saying. So they, a lot of these things were said in context. So for example, Jesus talked about divorce, right? Um, uh -huh. That was one of the things that he clearly said, like, 
basically you can't, you shouldn't divorce. At all. Except for fornication, yes. Yeah. And so, but I mean, I mean the, back to yeah, but yeah. but the way, but the way that I, the way I see that. So, is that, so what? all right, you've had all all day to come out here. You ain't trying to come out now. You know what you're trying to say, brother. So, so, so when you stand before Jesus, are you going to say Jesus Christ? It just it wasn't in there. You know, I'm arguing from the negative here. What are you going to say to him? You know, you have to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. In your heart, you know this is wrong. You know you've been quenching the spirit by God, and you have to change. That's all we're saying. Yeah, it's very hard to talk and have conversation with, yeah, with the I know, He came I know. to seek and to save those that are lost. He sent out That's because we're trying to, to talk to all these people, not His just. word. Yeah, I understand. But not our word, know, but His word. We had about 10 people join the church after you guys protested last time. That's fine. Yeah. To be saved. That's fine. Yeah. So, because broad is the way, narrow is the path, at least salvation. Yeah. Did you want to answer not that question? Not with with Him. I asked y'all to not. The Bible says. So you don't have an answer to that question, is what you were saying. This is the day the Lord have made; I shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. There's no other God like Him. Thank you for confirming that. He's coming back to judge this world today, of sin and righteousness. How you doing today, sir? He's coming back. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? The judgment gonna start at the house of God. You know, the cops never showed up. There are many people. That's crazy, right? There are many people. I was ready for him and everything. Say, I to was ready for him and everything. But they don't know him. Do. Shucks, maybe they next time. They treat like the social club. The police aren't but really good at protecting Christ, the citizens, are they? Who yeah. is God Almighty? What would they be protecting them from? to judge this world. People disrupting worship services. Who is going to judge? People came to worship God. You mean with the and truth? And he loves us, don't love us in our sins. Truth. That's because you haven't been listening. Uh, the Bible You've been listening says to Romans this. 6 and 23, for the way of sin is death. How are you doing today, sir? But the gift of God's eternal life today? through Jesus Christ. If you're going any other way, you're a thief and a robber. So today is a day of salvation. Maybe you got questions today. Maybe you're wondering why those people are out. The Bible says that all souls are mine. But the soul that sent it, it shall surely die. There are many people, they are spiritually dead and don't even know it. Jesus Christ can set you free today. He can show you what true love is. That you won't find another human being. God, the Lord Jesus Christ is He. He said, you don't be a he, you shall die in your sins. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ is coming back. Oh, many people. It's just like it was in the day of Lot. Days of Noah. How you doing today? Being, being in Mary. Sure the gospel no, thank you. Being in Mary. Drinking. That's what we see here. Drinking and Mary. And we must cleave to his word. Clean to what he says. Man shall leave his father and mother shall cleave to his wife. Not man cleaving to another man. Not woman cleaving to another woman. That's an abomination. How you doing today, man? I'm doing great. And the Bible says that. Do you have a place to worship? It's an yeah. abomination for a man to lay down there? with a man. Because we're not worshiping woman right now. To lay down we're with preaching. A woman. It's an that's, that's what should have happened here today. Says in Leviticus, and he talks about it in First Corinthians too. For those that want to follow, don't want to follow the old, they want to follow the new. We can't pick and choose what part of the word of God we want to obey. We can't pick and choose. Just like Jesus said, that would be the Christian. Man should not Why? live by bread alone, but by every word. Easter. What, what does Easter have to do? See out of mouth of God. What? What? what, what we would appreciate it. No, thank you. God told him he could eat the whole scroll. Easter is unbiblical. The same God that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, he's coming back one day. He's coming back. And we got to warn you all. Warning coming for destruction. Hold your spirit before a fall. Oh, we're living our time now. But people want to twist the word of God. Twist it to their own destruction. Oh, they want to twist it. Want to twist God's word. God's word means what it says. Say what it means. If you 
woman married to another woman, you're still lost. <laughs> you're still lost. Still blind. Still blind. <laughs> still blind. Serving another Jesus. Got two eyes that cannot see. Two ears. Two ears that hear. cannot hear. He want to say that amazing grace. But God's grace doesn't give a permission to, to live a, a habitual life, to live in willful sin. We must come to the God of the Bible. Come to Him. Come and seek Him on today. Seek after Him. Fall in love with Him. Fall in love with Him. People love this world system. They love what people are going to pat them in their sins. But Jesus Christ is coming back one day. I noticed when you said sins, you, you sung louder. He's coming back one day. You feeling convicted? He's coming back one day. To strike judgment on this world. Oh, he's coming back. Separate the sheep from the goat. We from the tares. And he's terrible in his round. He's coming back. And his judgment is going to start at the house of God. There are many people that say they know him, but they don't know him. How are you doing today? They don't have no relationship with him. Do you guys want any, um, uh, like, they don't know him. we have little cakes and stuff? Oh, no, I'm good, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, thank you. They don't have a relationship with him. 